All right, Mark Ribot. God damn, one of the greats. Um, I first got introduced to Mark Ribot through Tom Waits. He played on Swordfish Trombones, and I was blown away. Man, he was the sound of that record. Uh, album came out in, I think, 97, same year or maybe a year before or after Ry Cooter's Buena Vista Social Club. It introduced me to Afro-Cuban music. Um, I mean, I knew of it, but didn't know it and didn't love it like I did after those two albums came by, or came about. Uh, last note on it, because it's such a great album and there's so much history there. All of the songs were compositions by a guy named uh, Arsenio Rodriguez. I didn't know this, figured it out. He was uh, the godfather of much of what we consider to be that kind of music today. And um, just an amazing album. Um, I uh, am going to, there's a lot to it. And if you guys see my other videos, you know I don't like note for note videos. I don't mind note for note videos, but I really want to just kind of learn the song and then do whatever I want on top of it. And so I'm gonna show you how I got the, what the basics of the song is, the way I play it. Um, it's in drop D. And I'll show you how to get to that. The great thing about drop D is pretty much everything you can mess around with and keep that, that B, or that D bass going. And then when you go to the A, you got the A right there, so you don't need to finger them. So it's almost an open tuning. I mean, it's probably the most flexible, non fully open tuning change one string and open up a world. So I'll walk through it, how I play it, like I said, the scales, etc. and I hope you enjoy. All right, let's start with the tuning. It's drop D. Um, drop D is really easy to hit. This isn't standard now, I had to tune it back. Basically take the E, third, th third string is the D, so make the E, the low string. Match the D and you are in drop D. You can play a, a D and listen how the intonation sounds on that. Um, the bass line uses the D and the E. Have you ever heard the song Jersey Girl? It's a same basic bass line, it's two chords, but what he does do is he alternates between kind of a major and a minor. And then the scale, I don't, I don't know what it is, but it's ancient, man. You'll hear it in like Mesopotamian music. I mean, way, dating way back to the Sumerians and the Babylonians. It's a, it's a half step, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, let me see. So that's what it is. You just get a feel for it. What I would do is. I would just mess around with it till you get the scales. Um, So that's the, that's the essence of that. So it starts in D minor, uh, D minor is here. He just doesn't play the high E. And again on the amp, just go to town with the reverb and the vibe if you got it. So all I'm doing is I'm playing the D minor, not hitting the lower E. And then I figured out which notes sound the best in that kind of minorish, you know, ancient uh, scales. Uh, the ones I'm using are. So you have most of the song right there. Um, the next chord is an A, and then what he does is. there so you can mess around with some of those but it's, he plays a7 sometimes and sometimes a full a so i think you get the point it's pretty straightforward it's just a uh, you can mess around with little shapes on what he's doing with a lot of those little shapes is uh, he's playing like parts of a chord um most of you guys probably already know this but you know it's not um rocket science but if the D's here, you can play. Just move around the parts of the chord. That's a pentatonic, but take a little piece of the pentatonic. Take 
and just go to town, have fun with it. That's what I did, and, you know, and I like the way it sounds. Um, that's pretty much the song. Uh, just a note on the scales, it's that scale, um, and then he messes, he switches between major and minor, and you'll hear it, it's dark. Uh, you could do some things like, play the arpeggios, or else play the arpeggios in minor. When I get to the, the major, the A major, like that. I was playing a sixth on a little run for what it's worth. I, I like playing sixths, sixths, however you say that. Um, and the one I was playing. There was a chord change. Anyhow, a bit sloppy, but that's a song. Um, man, I had fun learning it, so I hope you enjoy it. Uh, peace, guys. Bye-bye.